48 Hours, tonight on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Good morning. It is September 30th, 2023. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Imminent shutdown. With just hours to go before the deadline to fund the government, Congress fails to pass even a short-term deal. We'll have the latest on the last-minute negotiations and how the shutdown will be felt by all. Flooded out. Historic rainfall brings flash flooding across the Northeast, even crippling parts of New York City. We'll have the forecast as more severe storms are expected this weekend. Tupac murder arrest. Nearly 30 years after the rap legend was gunned down, police make a stunning arrest. We'll have details on the suspect and what may have sparked the shooting. And opening at rock legends U2 kick off the first concert in Las Vegas's newest venue, The Sphere. We'll show you how it went and speak with the band about the challenges in pulling off such a spectacle. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Imagine 80% of a population just up and gone. Well, that is what is happening now inside Azerbaijan. Nearly 98,000 people have fled to neighboring Armenia. Cars have been lining up on roads out of the enclave ever since Azerbaijan launched a lightning offensive last week. The 2024 race for the White House, the campaign trail, could soon see a high-profile third-party entrant. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is reportedly close to officially running as an independent. The son of Bobby Kennedy will make the official announcement on October 9th in Pennsylvania. The Libyan Coast Guard is accused of intentionally ramming a boat full of migrants in the Mediterranean. Footage released by Sea Watch shows dozens swimming for their lives as the inflatable boat sank. Smith is postponing their peace out farewell tour until sometime in 2024. Frontman Steven Tyler is receiving medical treatment for a fractured larynx. Doctors discovered Steven Tyler's vocal cord damage was more severe than originally thought. A Phillies fan was denied entrance to Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia because he wanted his emotional support gator to come with him. You said Phillies won't let him in? They won't let the security won't let him in. The Philadelphia Phillies just aren't willing to play ball with a toothy alligator. The most popular people on the planet right now might just be Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. One woman in Indiana has dressed her Halloween decorations as a couple. The skeletons are sporting Taylor's iconic the jeweled blue sequin dress. The creator says this is all good and fun. Pittsburgh Penguins uh, star Sidney Crosby is walking off the ice after a preseason game and tosses this puck up to a young fan in the stands. And this is a reaction. Look at him. Look, he's like, I, I wish I was that big of a fan of anything. This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. <laughs> Those are the greatest moments. I still get them with my kid. It, yep. it is. It's their whole world in that minute. That little gesture. Yes. An athlete that can change a kid's life. He even looked like a blonde Jack. <laughs> there so. he was. <laughs> Jack, where were you last? No. <laughs> Welcome to the weekend, everybody. I'm Dana Jacobson, along with Michelle Miller and Jeff Glor. And this morning, we're going to take you out to the ball game, where you can get some peanuts, Cracker Jacks, and possibly a nice Pinot Grigio, maybe Pinot Noir or Cab. That is right. More and more stadiums are offering a bevy of wines to go with that hot dog. So much so, one team has hired its very own full-time master sommelier. We'll introduce you to the man who may have the ultimate dream job. Nice. Then it's considered one of the greatest comedies of all time. Airplane was a box office blockbuster that spawned dozens of quotable lines and side-splitting sight gags. <laughs> we are going to get a rare sit-down with the three men who created the film and learn the surprising inspiration behind it. Ooh. Then for the dish, we will take you to London to explore the celebrated restaurant of food writer Ravinder Bogle. We'll see why her cuisine is hard to define and hear the reason she thinks vegetables are a small miracle. Mm -hmm. And then we will finish the morning with a performance from an artist who just had one of his songs go platinum. Last week, Briston Maroney released his second studio album. He'll perform for you right here in our Saturday session. That and so much more 
is all ahead. But we begin with this morning's top story. We're down to the final hours of a government shutdown showdown. The House failed to pass a short-term funding bill Friday. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy suffered another blow after 20 hard-right lawmakers tanked his bill that would have kept the lights on for another month and kept millions of federal employees off furlough. The last-minute defeat further pushes the government to the brink of a shutdown. Christina Ruffini is at the Capitol. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Well, it's a rare Saturday workday here on Capitol Hill. Both chambers will be in trying to scramble to get a deal to avert this crisis, but all eyes are going to be on the House, where divisions between Republicans are making it seem more and more likely that the government will shut down at 12.01 Sunday morning.